Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of building the schoolie conversion. The angle grinder has arrived, so we are hopefully going to get a lot done today. The mission today is to get the other two seats out. The bolts are stuck, so I'm hoping to be able to just cut them out of there with this. And um, hopefully we can tear them all apart, get all the cushions out, use that for insulation. I don't know if I already talked about this, but we are going to go with eco brick style insulation for the bus. So I've been collecting a bunch of little foam bits, plastic bits, things that I think would retain heat pretty well. And um, I've got a few trash bags full of it, but these seats have cushions in them and covers that are gonna be very insulating. So we're gonna be using them. And then at some point, we're gonna take the metal frames away to Anderson's and get a little bit of money for it. See, so yeah, I gotta pull these out. But we're gonna reclaim this here and hopefully use this as insulation. And depending on what kind of material this is, we may reuse that for insulation too. So I've had a few people already ask me about what kind of tools I use for the schoolie. And um, I should probably make a video about that. Today I got the angle grinder, that's one. I also highly recommend that you get an impact driver like this and a drill. And I don't have the drill out here at the moment, but I'm sure I'll make a future video about that. Um, and of course, you know, I'll link to all this stuff in the description below. If you want to help support the channel, purchase your tools through the links down below. But I will be making an official video about this at some point. I just need to, I guess, get to a point where I feel like I have all the tools that I need. We just have a steel frame that we're going to take off to the scrapper, foam that we're going to use for insulation, and cloth covers that we're either going to burn or use for insulation too, depending on what they are. Okay, so it is now nighttime. I had to go to work, but I got this fancy work light, which as you can see, lights up this whole area really well. We are going to try and angle grind that bolt out of there, which might be a dumb idea. I'm not 100% sure, but we're about to find out. So I got my glasses on and my gloves on, you know, to uh, delay it from cutting my fingers off an extra like tenth of a second. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing to this chair, but I already explained the process, so I'm just gonna do it. Man, having these seats out, this one already is making a huge difference. There's another bolt. I'm gonna try and see if I can just get it out with the drill. Now, one thing I need to think about too is the heater. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But honestly, it may not be a bad way to get heat. As like a backup. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. You know, I have to say, I did not expect when I was converting a bus to be dealing with so much pee. Like there's been so much that I've taken out of here that as soon as I take it out, it just smells like piss. <sighs> I don't know why. I don't know what they were doing in this bus before I got it, but I'm just glad I'm stripping everything out. It also really reeks of cigarettes in here. So there's another bolt down here that I miss. Um, which I can't quite get the drill into, and I can't quite get the angle grinder into, so I'm hoping it doesn't get stuck like the other one did. Well, actually, I think that answers that question. Well, maybe we can impact it. 
it out now. Go. All right, we officially have all the seats out. Well, not yet. I guess I gotta throw this one out the uh, pod bay door here. <sighs> Throwing one was enough. I had to roll that one. <laughs> Anywho, um, I guess it's time to continue tearing things down. I'm going to throw this one out too. Oh, just get a little uh, extra space in here. So I am really debating this lift. I really, really like the lift, um, but I think I might almost do better with like a ramp or something. I'm not sure, but this lift has been incredibly helpful and we're coming up on the part where we're gonna have to remove it if we're gonna remove it. So I am trying to decide still if I wanna remove it. I guess, let me know what you guys think down below. You know, the number one, uh, I guess, comment that I get from people who I tell that I'm doing a bus, a lot of them are like, where do you even start? So I get a lot of questions from people asking, where do you even start? And I'm not gonna lie, you know, sometimes it can be hard to figure out what you should start with, but ultimately you just got to pick your favorite thing. And if you can't get to it, then you got to fix whatever is blocking it first. So like in this case, I was going to tear the wall down, but this trim piece is holding it up. Probably not very well, but we want to remove as much resistance as we can. <laughs> yeah these aren't really holding anything. <laughs> I thought getting a bus would be a little bit more well built than a uh, motorhome. It will be once I'm done with it, but you know, I'm realizing buses are not built much better. Or at least shuttle buses anyway. I guess a school, like an actual middle school bus might be a little bit different. You know, that's another thing I got to thinking on too. I uh, posted on the school. Oh, I posted on the uh, schoolie forum about my schoolie conversion. And I had a couple people say that this isn't a schoolie because it's not a school bus. So what do you guys think? I've considered it a schoolie the whole time I've been working on it. I, uh, I guess I don't really know what's different between these buses and a school bus that would make those a schoolie and this not. But uh, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Is this a schoolie or a, a shuttle-y? Ooh, that looks just delicious. So now that that is out, <clears throat> we're going to tear this well out now or try. So I made another interesting discovery, which I didn't notice on the other side. Now I'm trying to see if I can see it on the other side. Well, I guess a little bit here, but I don't think this is fiberglass like I thought it was. So if we can look back here, that looks like some kind of a board covered in fiberglass. So now I'm wondering if we can drill into that. So maybe I can drill into it. I'll have to do some more research. Um, but 
seeing that wood there kind of gives me a little bit more hope. I didn't see it because there's this piece of wood blocking it. I'm going to have to go into work here in a little bit so. I think once I'm done taking the rails and the covers off on both sides here, we'll probably call that the pausing point. Well, I'm really hoping it's not a bad sign that there's so many bugs. Because the more stuff I take out, the more bugs I'm finding, and I'm hoping that there's not a live colony in here somewhere. And I do think I want to keep track of these, because I think this is part of the frame. As it goes down. Yeah, so I think this is part of the frame actually. And I'm wondering if maybe we should just build on top of this. I mean, really we should probably remove these. We should probably remove the wood at least, but um... You know, I actually don't know if we even need to. But then we could use the wheelchair mounts and use that to secure the house to the frame. So I'm wondering if it would be a waste of time to just take this wood out. So we might have to look underneath it and see. So we're gonna try and save all these here. There's like eight of them, I think. We need to find the nuts for them too. But luckily we've been keeping everything in this McDonald's cup. So, we just discovered another problem. This adventure so far seems to be just discovering a lot of problems. That is not good. I don't know how deep it goes, but apparently there's wood between the fiberglass interior and the fiberglass exterior. See, this feels pretty firm, and that doesn't. So I think, I'm hoping that means that if there is wood here, it's probably just this side that's damaged. Hopefully that's the case anyway. I am so tired. I am having a hard time thinking right now and I might have to stop here in just a minute. under the floor over the years. Okay, so I got everything I wanted accomplished today, so I'm exhausted. I can hardly think. It's only two in the afternoon, but I'm ready for bed. But I'm probably gonna go take a nap real quick before I go to work. All right, guys. Well, we made some good progress on the bus today, but it is time to go. I will see you all tomorrow.